Um, good morning, Andrea Zufelt. Um, I'll forewarn you, I have to do this in two parts. My phone only records um, four minute segments at a time um, for me to be able to upload, but I will indicate that um, when I save them. Um, so this is module four assignment, um, which discusses building capacity and resources for your prevention program. And um, first of all, I would like to say probably the most overall aspect of understanding any sort of any sort of ideas in building a prevention program would be that you have to have people at the table that are knowledgeable about the diversity and the cultural differences that are within that community. Whether you're dealing with adults or whether you're dealing with children or um, you know young adults. Uh, it's important to know that many people come from different diverse populations into our community, especially in today's age, where you need to be able to understand those cultural differences. You might have children that come, you know, that are, you know, were born in America or were brought to the United States when they were very young. And so they were raised with those American ideals. However, you still have those cultural differences at home from their parents. You know, and their parents might have understood uh, in, in, in their culture when they were that age, it was okay when you were eight years old to drink alcohol with the family um, or to, you know, participate in um, services, even religious type of services where um, what we would consider illicit substances were used at that time. So understanding the cultural diversity of a community is probably key with any prevention program. Um, with, a, with regards to making, uh, bringing awareness and improving those awareness and addressing those problems within the community, um, it's important to make sure that you have a wide variety of individuals that are knowledgeable on many aspects of what the community needs. So you don't just have want to have one person who is very knowledgeable in port A, whereas you have all of these rest of these ideals where they know some stuff, but they're really not knowledgeable. But they can run the show. And, and unfortunately, that's going to be a breakdown of that program. The other thing is making sure that you have data to pull in to show those individuals who you are trying to build this prevention program for and with so that they can understand that. Many times these individuals, usually some sort of legislature, legislators or some people on a political standpoint, um, may not necessarily have the insight of what it is like short of data. So what they understand is data. They don't understand uh, knowledge of having their own child or their uh, family members being involved in those instances. That's not the case in every, in every aspect. Of course, there are individuals who are in those positions that might have experienced that. Um, but you need to assume that maybe those people have not had that personal experience. And so what they trust on is data. What they want to see is data and what can be brought to the table with regards to figures and politically and, and all encompassing what this can do to better the community for which they're responsible for. So making sure that you have empirical data from resources and from studies that provide proper information to make sure that it is not only accurate, but understandable to those individuals, um, and that it can show that that prevention program can bring those components together and into the inside of what you're trying to bring for that program.